right guys, today I'm going to do a review on a carry case that I purchased for uh, Gill Painter 2010, my partner. She's got a very large orc army, we fed up carrying it around in little boxes all over the place and uh, thought we'd try out uh, KR multi cases. Really nice chap he is, uh, spoke to him and he gave me some advice on what to get and this is what we've ended up with. So I'm going to take you around and show you what I've uh, got and give you a product review. Now firstly, I'm not just uh, saying this, this thing's been put through its paces this uh, weekend, just gone. Four games played, it's been knocked around all sorts and I've got to say, it's brilliant. First things to note, excellent shoulder strap and then this thing is tough. This thing, is, you haven't got to worry about dropping your army when you're carrying it on your shoulder or anything like that. So you've got no problem there. And it does also indeed come with the standard carry handle. And I've loaded this thing up at the moment, so I'll take you through how I've done that in a minute. Good, strong quality, excellent stitching. On the side here, for you tournament players, you can get your cans of pop in there and all sorts of things, even books if you so wish. Now on the front, you've got two Velcro fastened, very deep pockets. I can, I can only imagine you can get all sorts in there, dice, smaller books, measuring equipment. And on the front here you have a front zip inside, tournament tray, nice big tray for your tournament players, fits in there nice and snug. Once again you can get an awful lot of books in there, no problems. I have to bear with me guys, I'm doing this one handed. On the side, you get another compartment. All sealable, all strong, I'm really impressed with it. There's just so many compartments on this thing, I'm actually losing count, I really am. And of course, on the back, nice, strong, sturdy. So, to access it, you've got the uh, two zips at the front, basically zip all the way around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do that. Hopefully I won't rock the camera while I'm doing it. So if you just give me a second guys, I'm going to stop recording and lie this flat on its back because like I say I'm doing this one handed. Okay guys, so we're on. As I say, opening up the front before I do, just to note, some really strong Good rubber grips on the bottom, saves the bottom of the case from getting all grubby through use. So here we go, we have the big front sliding door on it. Now once again, yet another big pocket. And there you go, you can get your codexes in there and all sorts, really impressive. And of course, as you can see, you can actually, do you know what, I should have to light this back up again. Should have left it where it was. Four very large carry cases in it. I'll get these out in a second so you can see how I've composed some of the trays. Incidentally, if you're not sure what sort of trays you need, um, you can easily contact the guys. They've got a very informative and uh, clever website where you can select each individual tray or how you want it doing. Or if you indeed need advice, just contact them and say, look, I got here's a 1500 point list. What do you recommend? Now, all these, see I'm not scared of eating these things and there's delicate minis in these. Solid, really impressed I am. Now this is a standard case, standard multi-case. Like I say, all of the trays in these can be individually, I'll put that there as a reminder guys. Just give myself a little bit of room, there we go. Right, in, in this tray alone I've got 108 Orc Boys and Knobs. This is a standard, what I would call a standard miniature tray. They all trays come with this top liner as well to protect the top layer. Pre-done for you, the standard miniature tray is, as you can see, there's like 36 in each tray and there's three trays. There we go, there's another one, there's another one underneath there. 36 models per tray, 108 in total. Awesome, especially for a horde army or even indeed a large space marine army, so you can't really moan. For troops, you're well sorted. In fact, you're well sorted for everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly stop recording, get all the trays out because I need both hands and I'll show you what I've done. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the four cases that slip into the carry case. Um, what I've uh, essentially done on this one, as you can see, no problem. I've got a truck in there. I've even catered it because 
when I modelled this one, I actually glued the turrets and things in place, so it did make it a little bit more awkward for myself, but lesson learned. In here we have a Mega Dread, and of course this is actually a Forge World, um, no sorry, that's a Def Dread, and this is a Forge World Mega Dread, which is a really quite tall and sizeable model. So I've got that in there, no problem, and enough room there to create yet another uh, space for another truck. Uh, it's all plug foam, as you can see there. So you can easily, and it is easy, believe me, even I could make a mess of this normally, but easily just pull out the pieces that you want to fit the uh, appropriate object in your laughing. As I say there, once again, it's just a pure miniature case, but you can mix and match. Now, say like this one, for instance, uh, I asked for a miniature tray, which is a smaller version, as you can see here. Uh, but this side plug foam because I have some very special and uh, awkward shaped minis so if you keep it plug foam you can pretty much decide on how you want I mean this is war bosses and mechs and so forth and um, let's just get one of these out so guys so you can see what I'm talking about this is a tray of knobs as you can see I haven't done them all yet but yet again there's another section under there and another section under there that I haven't quite filled yet that's because I'm lazy so yeah that's that tray and finally over here, as you can see with this one, it's uh, two trays for miniatures on the top. And underneath, as you can see I haven't put around that one out yet, and this side's actually carrying five cans. And you see they all fit in there really slug, snug, um, very tidily. And they are 100% safe, because believe me, go to 2010 doesn't look after a minis too well and they do get knocked about. So yeah. There's the case set up. Case of four. Over 3,000 points. You can easily fit a, a battle wagon and various other things. Like I say, it's plug foam. Just it's like with all carry cases, you need to use a little bit of common sense when you're building your models because you're going to build them with parts that are sticking out about five inches high and so forth. You're always going to have trouble transporting. So, there's a little bit of advice. Either don't glue the turrets in or magnetise them and you will be fine, absolutely fine. So I'll just slip these back in the case and we'll do it over here. So yeah, there you go guys. That's it in its entirety, I have to say. I'm very impressed. They all fit very snugly. It's a very tough piece of kit. And I've got absolutely no problems with purchasing more of these in the future because let's face it, we all have a few armies at Red Steel. So we uh, wholeheartedly endorse this product and the company themselves because their customer service is second to none. Very prompt on re uh, answering emails and so forth. So yeah, guys, if you need cases, this is the place to go. Cheers, guys.